Okay. Hi, guys. So before we start, let me just make some introductions. So my name is Irina. I'm from Marantis. I work with uh, our partners. I developed the Fuel Plugin SDK. And my name is Vincent. Uh, I'm a Six Win CTO, and we work with Mirantis on some NAV deployments. Okay. So before we start speaking about Six Win specifically, let me just remind you about Fuel. So basically, um, Fuel is uh, an open source deployment tool, as you know. And um, there is a way to plug um, some proprietary technologies into Fuel. So uh, this can be done using Ansible, Puppet. Uh, you can just build uh, your product into uh, any stage you'd like to have it. Um, so it's a very flexible thing to work with. So in addition to just saying what the Fuel plugins are, let me just remind you about the Fuel Plugin SDK. So basically the Fuel Plugin SDK provides all the information on how to uh, develop your plugin and how to build the CICD pipeline around it. Um, and um, it's kind of comfortable thing to use for new buys to Fuel and to OpenStack. So you can find more information in the OpenStack Documentation Center and uh, in the OpenStack Wiki. And now I'm passing the ball to Vincent to focus you, on six wind details. Okay, thank you, Irina. So, what we are going to show you is a, is a demo of um, NAV uh, deployment. So, first, let me present what are the target of this presentation. So, for us, we are going to deploy a six wind virtual accelerator that will accelerate packet processing of the neutrons we switch. This deployment will be done using Mirantis Fuel. Then we will uh, do some benchmarks and see how, how uh, Linux is accelerated. And then using Unixia, that I don't have here, so that's why we use a video, uh, we'll check the latency and we'll check the, the throughput. So for that, we, we use a very simple topology with a fuel master, a controller, and two compute nodes, and two networks, which are two 10 gig uh, networks. So, you may be uh, used with the, the Fuel web UI, so it's pretty comfortable to use. And by the way, we use Fuel for two reasons. Because in Six Win Lab, we need to make, is, uh, we need to make easily some uh, OpenStack de development, some OpenStack test. So for that, Fuel has been very comfortable. And moreover, we need our customer to feel comfortable when they deploy some NFV uh, environments. So right now, I don't know if, Rina, you want to comment, or should, should I continue? Okay. So right now we are, let's say, doing the uh, setup of the, of the platform. So we define um, the, the, the fuel uh, project layout. So we um, relate most of the default uh, environments. So then we are going to uh, set the, some few um, network, networking and, uh, cave and hypervisor settings. So for instance, and oh yes, of course, we have to enable virtual accelerator. So since we are a fuel plugin, which means that we have a, a, a one more checkbox in the fuel environment. Once you enable the checkbox, then we're going to deploy a DPDK application on the host. And the DPDK application is going to accelerate any packet processing out of IP table, Linux bridge, and OVS. So here it is. So we enable the, the virtual accelerators uh, version 1.4. We can do some fine tuning if we want. So then we are, we are good to go. Then we are going to um, define the uh, networking schema, which is specific to the six wind labs in uh, in Paris. So just some few cosmetics that you may get used to do when you have to deploy your uh, your networks to define your management, your private uh, networks. Some few uh, layer suites since we use um, uh, some uh, um, VXLAN, uh, by the way, overlay. I don't know if you noticed that previously. Since we are not connected to the public network here, we use a private NTP server. And we should be almost good to go. Oh, yes, I forget. So then we give some roles. So one controller, as you could see, and then two compute nodes, which we virtual accelerator uh, enabled on both controller. So on each, uh, we set up the role of the interfaces, which is the uh, same, just click and play. So you don't need to be an expert in, 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 uh, in settings, uh, dev stack, or, or you not want our ML2 configurations. So we should be almost done with the, with the role of the, of the interfaces for, for different networks. Yes, so still the, the last compute nodes, Lion. 
and uh, yes, should should be good. So nine, we are going to um, to check uh, something very nice in few months. We have a, an automatic check, so it's going to check that the network is correct. Of course, it's recorded video, so it's going to be correct. No surprise. Then we are good to go, so we're going to deploy. So we have two options. Maybe we go to have a coffee break because it may take an hour. Or here yeah, we did accelerate the video, and you will see. Since the video, we're going to in a in couple of seconds to, to have the deployment uh, done. So what is happening under the hood? I mean, uh, Mirantis Fuel is, is installing uh, the, all the packages of uh, the Ubuntu 14.04 uh, and is installing the 6Win uh, Debian package on every compute node. And now we can connect over the horizon interfaces to spawn uh, some virtual machines. So there is nothing. There is nothing specific to NAV, in fact, right now. It really looks like OpenStack, and I'm not telling you that you have to do specific DPDK setting because of, uh, because of NAV. So now we move to, let's say, the very interesting part, which is going to be, OK, what is going to be my, my performance? So we're going to use two VNF. So Sixwin, uh, we are a company selling many applications on top of DPDK, some VNFs that you can run in virtual machines and some uh, virtual switch accelerators that we can run uh, on, the, on the host. So in this case, we did want to compare what would it mean for some OVS accelerations, or I could use some Linux bridge, I could use some combination of Linux bridge and OVS. In fact, you could even use some Calico or three network model if, uh, if, uh, if needed. I will push traffic from the XCI, and thanks to the XCI, I will be measuring the throughput and the latency. One thing I didn't show in the, letter, in the demo, maybe uh, I don't know if you know you want to add, but we have deployed Grafana to do some, some monitoring. So do uh, you want to explain how we, we did that? Yeah, I can, I can just add a few words to this. So we basically have this tech light set of plugins which allow monitoring, loading. So very useful thing to, to enable. So that's it for the introduction of the benchmark. So now le le let's look at, look at, the, at the details. So just some few version check, so you, you feel comfortable with it. So we, we have on Ubuntu um, 14.04 with a kernel 3.13. Okay, so we are set. So from um, uh, it's a Mitaka uh, release that we deployed with uh, Fuel 9, a uh, 16 virtual accelerator product uh, version 1.4, and you have seen that maybe from the Fuel UI too. Now, I'll do a pause here and look at the line 25. You have an ETH4 interface. You will see uh, within a few minutes on this demo that ETH4 is a DPDK interface, but when I use IP link show, I still see the interface. If you uh, uh, scroll down on line 46, I have a tab interface. This tab interface is still a VS user, and you will see what's going on. So because I have tab interface, I can still use legacy tools like ETH tool. And as you know, when you use ETH tool dash I, if it's a Linux interface, I will see an IGB interface. But here, because it's a DPDK interface, a DPMD, I see RT, IGB, PMD, which means that because I have a net device that feels like this system is still a Linux, even if DPDK is being used. And I have my tap interface. So tap interface same won't be a tune tap because that's the default kernel. It will be a data plane virtual interface that is used for fast packet processing through the, the VS user. And because I have a net device, I can use any uh, tools like ETH tool dash K. I can and you will see next. I can even do things like TCP done. So I, I, I'll, I'll make a, si a, a, a simple comment. If you ever try to deploy some obvious DPDK uh, with OpenStack, when you have to uh, debug your traffic, you are like that. OK, where is my traffic? You don't see anything. You're fully blind. Here, I, I get my XCR traffic, Proto 61. I can run TCP dump on my tap interface, on my ETH4. I can do I, my IP root show. I can monitor the stats. It really feels like a Linux environment. So that's for, that was for the review of the deployed system thanks to Fuel. So now let's, let's do some measurements. Remember, we had two compute nodes. So right now, thanks to uh, Grafana, and we are going to, to check it with the XC at the same time, we'll monitor the traffic. So we are pushing uh, some traffic to, to the system. We are pushing about 20 gig. So, and it's supposed to be VXLAN, and we only get uh, 5 gig of traffic. And four cores of Linux are busy to process uh, the, the traffic. You can see that on the Linux CPU. So, then what we. I, I move on. Well, it's pausing.
then it's okay. Traffic keeps going, then we will uh, focus. The four Linux cores are busy. As you can see, there is no fast pass CPU which is being used because we didn't enable the, uh, the six unit virtual accelerator on this computer. So now, next is we have one Linux core which is fully busy. As you know, DPDK is pinned on some cores. We are still pushing 20 gig of traffic through the VNF, and the virtual switch sustains the 20 gig without any issues with a single core processing the, the packet for the vSwitch. So we have the 20 gigs in, 20 gig outs being processed. Uh, we have four times more performance. In fact, we could even go higher because we would just add uh, two uh, 10 gig ports and only one core is being booked on the host side uh, uh, by the 16 virtual accelerator. You could allocate two, four cores if you want even to go higher. So now, next for NFV, there is a something which is very important. It's not only swap root, it's about latency. If you deploy some cloud run applications, Latency matters. If you deploy some transactional um, solution in a data center, uh, latency matters. So if we compare the Linux, any kind of OVS, Linux bridge, the latency can be pretty high. We get about 112 microseconds. When we run it with the six minute virtual accelerator, the same setting, no modification, same VX1 setting, same security group, no modification, we go down to, uh, to nine microseconds. So it's about 12 uh, times better la latency compared to, um, to the legacy uh, packet processing virtual switching without any modification and, and you still keep all the nice Linux uh, capability. So to make it short, the six win vision of packet processing is Linux provides a nice data model for networking. I mean, some IP tool, IP table tools, a BRCTL, OVS tools. We don't want to lose them. We just want to accelerate the packet processing. So that's what we do with the virtual accelerator. So we get higher performance, lower latency, uh, where we keep the, the Linux uh, data model. And moreover, we are pleased to use a nice tool to deploy these open stack environments in an easy fashion, in, in a scalable manner. So I think uh, I'm done. So I don't know if you want to add anything right now, or we no. jump to the question. Feels like what, huh? Okay. So thank you.